The clamor for change of the 2010 constitution, the limitation of boundaries and the 2019 census could all radically change the country's political landscape ahead of the 2022 polls. So, is the push for constitutional changes purely a stage to play politics or must Kenya really review its system of governance with an aim of doing away with the presidency as currently set up? Well, KTN's News Political Affairs editor Ben Kitili interrogates on House of Cards. NASA leader Raila Odinga has attributed his concerted efforts to push for constitutional changes to what he calls the need to get rid of the winner-takes-all setup in Kenya's presidential system. And it has been squeaky bum time for Deputy President William Ruto and his presidential ambitions. So is the presidency as currently constituted the cause of Kenya's electoral problems, like Odinga would want Kenyans to believe? Built on the foundation stones of the now famous handshake nearly a hundred days ago, Raila Odinga's push to change the 2010 constitution as its main premise that Kenya's presidential system has major weaknesses. <laughs> and rather expectedly, the clamor for a referendum to change Kenya's supreme law has become the latest political boxing ring, with political pundits opining that this will set the stage for 2022 political formations. <laughs> with the winner of the proposed referendum keen to take the momentum to the forthcoming general election. And if elections were conducted smoothly, regardless of who the victor was, do you think that this proposal will be coming in the manner and in the style in which it is coming? Raila Odinga has intimated that the presidential system is the root cause of inclusivity challenges experienced every election cycle. But is changing the law the ultimate solution? We will miss the point when we assume that one, it is the presidency that is the problem and two, that it is the constitution that is the problem. None of them is the problem. While Odinga has insisted that the clamor for constitutional changes has nothing to do with 2022 politics, a number of political commentators remain skeptical. Whereas we expect that 2022 should not be a subject now, it will not go because the coming of Raila has spoiled the party for William Ruto. And it's very clear, you can see Aden Duale, Murkomen and others are saying, no, you are not welcome. It is not clear where this referendum debate will leave the majority jubilee party, whose main challenge is to balance between President Uhuru Kenyatta's legacy and Deputy President William Ruto's succession in 2022. You see, Ben, when you see a beautiful girl and fail to master the courage to talk to her, as the Igbo people always say, you will end up fetching water at her wedding. And William Ruto understands just that. If he does not rise to secure, together with his lieutenants, his political interests, then it will be assumed that they are least, least aggressive in protection of that political interest. Sources have told the KTN News political desk of a secret plan by Ruto's camp to introduce changes to the executive structure by creating the position of a non-executive prime minister or chief minister appointed by the president. Jubilee has a majority, and they can actually make changes to have a position of chief secretary come in, in which case then they give Raila Odinga. But you must remember that Raila Odinga is not out yet, and Raila Odinga is targeting 2022. The framing of the constitutional question could have Raila Odinga's interests on the cards with the system of government that he's proposing. While many agree that the winner takes all nature of the presidency is the cause of much political turmoil experienced in the country every five years, question begs, what difference would transferring the same power to a powerful prime minister make? If he pushes for a particular system of government, the three-tier system that he's talking about, and then it wins, you will not rule out Raila Odinga going 
for the highest office, whether it would be the premiership or the presidency at the time. Nonetheless, there is general consensus that the 2010 constitution is due for reforms, but can the constitution be changed without changing its essence? Ben Kitili, KTN News. Thank you.